Hey guys, this is Mark from parkflyers.com. Today we're gonna to show you how to take a Rustler 4x4 and prevent it from having thermal shutdown when the weather gets a little bit warmer. Um, the other thing that causes a Rustler 4x4 to have thermal shutdown is sometimes when you upgrade to bigger wheels. On this, this customer upgraded to the sledgehammer wheels. They are a lot heavier, probably twice the weight of the regular 4x4 wheels. So he was suffering from his car shutting down uh, in the middle of using it halfway through the battery pack, he said. Lucky for him, Traxxas just came out with a really, really good uh, cooling option for the VXL motor. And that is the first product, it's $9.99. Uh, it's an aluminum heatsink. Item number on that one is $34.58. It's $9.99, uh, readily available all over, all over the place. Uh, we have it in stock. And the second thing is the brand new fan they came out with. Uh, it's a cooling fan, it's $24.95. Item number $34.56. And it actually is made to go on top of this specific heat sink. It comes with four screws um, in this fan. It, they, they screw right into the heat sink and it's a really good fit. So uh, the cool thing about this one is you don't need a splitter. The, it's powered by the receiver. So you basically just snake it right into one of the channels on the receiver and it'll power this fan no problem. On this particular car, uh, it really worked out well. If you look at the heatsink, the aluminum on the motor, it looks great. You cant it to the, uh, to the side so that it actually fits because this screw could get in the way. Uh, you screw this top fan on. And like I said, it really does cool the car down well. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure, a lot of times customers don't know this, but what makes the car overheat also is their, the, the spring um, on the clutch is, uh, is all the way out or it's loose. That'll definitely make the car run hotter because it's gonna, it stresses the motor when you give acceleration. So you want to turn it all the way in and then a quarter turn out. That's the best setting for the clutch uh, nut. And you'll have to take the car uh, transmission apart to get to that. Uh, we tightened up his just to make sure that his car is running as efficient as possible. It was very loose, so that could also contribute to some overheating. But like I said, this brand new, these brand new parts from Traxxas, they really are, uh, I think, a step above. A lot of people use the Indigy fans and they wear out really quick. And I would also say the aluminum on them is very, um, very minimal. So the, the Indigy heatsink is very small, where this one I think is a lot bigger. Um, See, look at the fins, they're nice and tall. So just this alone is a, is a nice upgrade. A lot of people that are doing the Mud Boss competition, they're putting these on their 12 turn brush motors and they're getting a really good result just with the heat sink alone. But when you add the fan, it's like a double, I guess a double, uh, double cooling effect. So the heat sink, between the heat sink and the fan, I would say you're definitely gonna improve your cooling performance, especially in the summer heat. Uh, you're gonna be able to run the car with no, no thermal shutdown whatsoever. Uh, if you guys need these parts, call 1-800-470-8932, ask for Mark. You could also find them at parkflyers.com, or you can come to our hobby shop located at 55 Park Avenue, South and Lakewood. Store hours are 11 to 5 every day, except Saturday. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps a lot of people looking for uh, cooling solutions for their RC cars. Uh, anyway, guys, like the video, subscribe if you want to, and thanks for joining us today.